Hey guys, this is Art. I am the uh, owner of CPC Ninja, and we're here. We're going to help you set up your your Apple iOS 14 changes to your ad account so that uh, you guys won't have any ads paused. This training is going to help you out a lot with being able to uh, be in standards when the guidelines with Facebook whenever this change comes to effect so that your ad account or your ads are not going to be uh, having any issues once these changes are already implemented 100%. Hannah is my uh, director of operations here and she's the manager here at CPC Ninja and she's the, going to be the one who's going to show you how to do it. So Hannah, if you don't mind, take it away. Yeah, sure. Hi everyone. Okay, so I'll be showing you how we can help you uh, be compliant with Facebook with this Apple iOS 14 changes that's going to happen this week already. Okay, so if you can see once you go inside the ad account, you'll see this red uh, box right here with an error that's saying um, make sure to make the necessary changes so that all your ads, you know, won't be affected once all the changes would take effect. So if you can click this complete task, you would be redirected to your resource center and you would see all the tasks that's needed to be completed so that your ads won't be paused when these changes takes effect. Um, when you read through it, okay, because you can read through the uh, descriptions here for each task, all it really needs to is uh, are two things. One, is to get your domain verified. And two is to have your conversion events configured to that specific domain. So everything is all about your conversion event and your domain, okay? So, so really all they've got to do is just two simple things. Mm -hmm. One is verify their domain, which is their website. And then two is, um, uh, add this custom conversion event. Yes. If you can read through it, they, they can also uh, read to the descriptions. It always says event configuration for your pixel. And if you go here, it also says about configuration. So everything is to have your custom conversions or your conversion events be configured. And um, that also includes your domain being verified. Okay. So um, I won't go through through very detailed on this, you can read through it as well, but we'll go through the process on how to fix it. Okay. All right. So first things first, uh, you have to have your domain verified. So whatever, wherever you host your funnel. So for every funnel that we have, for example, for this specific campaign, um, we use this domain for all this client's account or campaigns. So we have to have this specific domain verified, okay? So first things first, you have to know where is the domain hosted. So for this specific domain, it's hosted in GoDaddy's account. So you have to log into your GoDaddy's account and you have to go to that specific domain. And then you have to manage uh, the DNS for that, okay? So here, and we go here. So if you're hosted in GoDaddy, you go, go, you have to click this manage DNS. And let's just wait for it to load up. Okay, so um, I was accessing our GoDaddy account to have uh, the domain verified. So for you to be able to know the exact steps, you have to be logged into your business manager. You have to go to your business settings. Okay. So if you're in your ad account, all you have to do is to go to your main navigation menu, click this, and then go to business settings. Or the other way to do that is to go here. There is this icon for the business settings, which is one click away to that. Okay. So once in your you're in your business settings, you have to go to the brand safety. So stay on your left panel of the screen, brand safety, and then domains. And once you're in your domains, you have to add your domain here by clicking add and then putting your domain here. So for the purpose of the training today, we are using the cpcclients.com in here. 
So this one's already verified and added, okay? But just to show you um, what it's gonna look like, let me just pull up some sample. Uh, guys, this is also in the business manager. So in order to verify the domain, you've got to go to the business manager, which is business.facebook.com. And then you're gonna be able to see your ad accounts and pages and everything. And, and if you scroll down on the menu on the far left, that's where you're gonna find brand safety and then domains. So if you don't mind, Hannah, could you put your mouse on, on the left menu under brand safety and, oh. and domains? All right, one second. Let me just pull up um, a sample. Sure. Okay, so brand safety is here. Mm -hmm. You can see it. And then domains. Okay. All right, so um, as I was saying, the domain that we're using for the, the, uh, the training today is that it's already verified here. So I'm just going to pull up some random URL just to show you um, how it's done, okay? Because when you add a domain, Facebook should tell you the specific steps that you need to do. So for example, I'm adding this URL here or this domain here. It will tell you um, the specific steps on what to do to have your domain verified. So you can choose any of these three. So there's meta tag verification, there's HTML file upload, and there's also DNS verification. So how we verify it is that we do the DNS verification. That's why earlier I was trying to access our GoDaddy account, all right? So it's everything stated here as well. It's stating that you have to add a text record on the DNS section of your GoDaddy account if it's hosted in GoDaddy. And then you just have to follow these basic steps, okay? So log in to your domain registrar, go to your DNS records section, and then you have to add a text record um, by clicking this link or copying this link that is provided, okay? And it says add at in the host field. And then once that's added, you have to click this verify and see if your domain has been verified already. Most of the time, it takes um, immediate effect to have the domain. I'm gonna, go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, Hannah, for you. Sure, so I'll be letting you share your screen art. All right, yeah. thank you. All right, so I'm obviously in GoDaddy and, and not all of you guys use GoDaddy. Some of you might use different other uh, domain providers, um, but Ideally, just everyone, all of them have the same thing, which is DNS management. So inside the DNS records, um, I already have it created here. So honestly, all I have to do, if I don't have this, I click on add, and then the type is gonna be text, and then the host is gonna be at, and then that text value, uh, that, that was the code that Hannah uh, had on that, on her screen. And I could just paste that code. Uh, thank you, Hannah. I'm gonna just copy the code that she gave me. And then I'm gonna paste this code in there. And then I'm gonna hit save. I'm not gonna do it now since I already have it, but I hit save and then it'll show up right here. And then Hannah, if you could share your screen one last time. Once I've done that already, it might take a, an hour or so for it to take effect, but if she clicks verify, it's gonna show as it's verified. If it doesn't show, don't worry, just give it a, some time, give it up to an hour or maybe even up to a day. It says that it might take up to 72 hours if you see uh, number four. So most of the time for us, it took you know, an hour, I believe, but it might take up to three days. So just click verify and then it should show as verified. Now, now you have an official domain that is verified that it's your domain because Facebook wants to make sure that you're sending traffic to your domain. And that's why they need you to verify it because if it's not yours, ideally they don't want to be liable of, of traffic getting sent to someone's domain that is not theirs because uh, the person sending that traffic to them could get in trouble or whatever. Now this is yours, it proves that it's your domain. And 
now you got Facebook's trust with being able to send traffic to your own domain. So that's the first thing. Thanks, Hannah. All right. Okay. So moving forward, um, since we have the domain verified already, sometimes, as per Art said, it takes a while. But you know, there are accounts that we verify the domain, and it was instantly verified as soon as you've added um, the text record and you hit this verify. It's good to go. Right. So once that's done, the next step is for your conversion events to be configured. Right. So whenever we create a campaign, as you can see on uh, the ad set level, just for example, for this campaign, uh, we always have conversion events. This is um, a campaign objective, a conversions campaign objective campaign. So we need that conversion event. What conversion event is? It's actually. Um, uh, it's actually a metric uh, that tracks your customers or clients action that is uh, valuable to you. So it helps us uh, track whatever specific metric we wanted to see. So for us, we are tracking the leads, the number of leads that you have, okay? So we always have this conversion event here. So how we do that is that we go to the events manager of your account. So again, if in if you're in your um, if you're in this kind of view, all you have to do is to go to your main navigation menu and then go to the events manager. And once you're here, we always create custom conversion for every campaign that we do. So this tracks um, the leads that signs up in your funnel. So for the lead, we'll do one example, which is for your lead conversion event. Um, we track the application page link, okay? So for example, in your funnel, once they sign up from the landing page, they go straight to the next step of the funnel, which is your application page. And so we create custom conversion for this link. So every lands on this link is automatically tagged as a lead, okay? So this is what it does. So this is that specific custom conversions. Okay, so if you can see here, it says here, configure, it has a no. It means that this specific conversion event isn't configured yet. So we have to configure this. And how do we do that? So going back to your business settings, again, everything is on the left panel again. Under the data sources, there are two things that we need to make sure that is done first before we proceed with the configuration. So first things first, you have to make sure that your pixel is added here under the data sources. If it's, it's your own um, business account, I believe your pixel should be added automatically here. But if it's not yet, all you have to do is to click add and um, add that specific pixel that you have, okay? Mm -hmm. But since we're an agency, this is an agency account, we get access to all our clients' accounts to their pixel. We need to have a uh, full control on their pixel to be able to do this specific step. Okay, so for this account, the pixel that we have is <clears throat> this one, Sovereign Martial Arts Pixel. So this has been added here. We have full control access to this. And once that's done, all you have to do is to go to custom conversions, again, under data sources, and you have to add that specific custom conversion in here by clicking add, clicking add the custom conversion and putting the custom conversion ID. So again, I have to go back here. I have to copy this ID. If you can see, this is the ID that we need. Let me just copy that and then go back to the business settings. Place that in here and then add the custom conversion, okay? All right, so let me just refresh this <clears throat> and see if it has been added because it should be added instantly. And I believe this is this. Lead to We Kids Online. Let me just verify. Yes, okay, so this one. So I have to add asset to this to make sure that it's added to the specific ad account. So this is the ad account that that pixel is owned and that custom conversion is created. So I have added it here. Okay, and once that's done, those two steps are done, we're gonna go back to the events manager. 
we're going to go back to the specific custom conversion that we're using in that campaign that is active. And we're, we're going to click configure. Okay. Once you click configure, you'll be able to see the verified domains on your business account. So I'm going to go to the domain that we're using, and this is the cpcclients.com. And once you click that, click Manage Events, click Edit, and you'll be redirected here. OK, so in here, in one pixel, you can only add eight events. OK, you can only configure eight events. So whatever is running right now, whatever active campaign you have, you should add it here. If you have too many campaigns running, then you have to know which is your priority, OK? So you have to add the event here and then click this box right here and choose custom conversion on the drop down. And then you have to choose the event and look for the event that we've added, which is this one. Lead to we kids online with this specific ID. Okay. So click that and hit submit. And you have to check that box here saying that you confirm the changes and then click apply and it has been verified or configured already. So let me go back to custom conversions. Let me click this. Let me just refresh my screen one second. And click this again. And I think you see here, now it says yes. It means that we've configured that specific conversion event. Okay, so once that's done, all you really have to do is to go to your campaign and make sure that um, that is the specific conversion event that we're using in your ad sets, in your campaign, and um, it should be good to go. All right, it, it won't be um, taking effect immediately. I think it needs time, about uh, 72 hours at most, for those effects to have in your account, but once that's done, those two steps are done, domain verified, custom conversions configured, um, you should be compliant with Facebook and you should be good to go once this Apple iOS 14 changes takes effect. Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. So guys, if you, uh, I, it, I know it looks so crazily complicated and, um, Ideally, it's just two things you got to do. One again, once again, uh, verify your domains. They want to make sure you own those domains. And then number two is uh, reconfigure your pixel so that they can match your custom conversion events. And I guess you guys are all using leads or lead generation pixels and all that. And you want to be able to still track everybody. So all you got to do is just configure that and then you know, behind how this works, I don't really know, no one really knows, but maybe uh, Facebook did a drug deal with Apple, letting them know that, hey, I understand that you want people to, they can opt in if they want to, in regards to not wanting to get tracked or not. However, if we had a better accountability of our advertisers and they would be able to, you know, and you can read it down here, they'd be able to, uh, own, have ownership of their pixels in the domains and be compliant, then uh, this shouldn't have too much of an effect on running our ads to these people. So, so basically, if you, if you guys want to, you can stop sharing your screen, Hannah, if you want. Okay. Um, but before that, or just one last thing that I want to let them know um, is that if they have completed the tasks that is, um, stated in here, all they have to do is to click the specific task and um, click mark complete, right? Once that's done, when they have marked complete everything else, I believe this error won't be showing up on the account anymore. That's just it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. This is under resource center. So uh, go back to it, Hannah, so they know how to get there. Okay, yes. So, so under resource center, so that's the tab. You know, you guys are always in the campaigns or ad sets tab. So just one tab over and that's under the resource center. So guys, if you want to, 
I know that it's it's definitely a lot of work. And if you would like us to help you out with it, uh, we'd be happy to do it for you so that you don't have to worry about doing none of this. And all we would need is access to your ad account, your business manager, and um, wherever you're, you're hosting your landing pages or, or your website, and we'll be able to do it for you. We, we've done this a thousand times already for clients, so we'll be happy to help you out. And if you would like to set that up, let me set up this little bitty whiteboard so you can see. All you have to do is book a call with me and just go to uh, meetme.so slash CPC Ninja. So it's schedule one. So you go there and you can book a call with me directly and then we'll schedule a time to, to help you get that set up so it won't be a problem at all. Thank you, Hannah, for, for showing this to them. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.